What is going on, everybody, and welcome to another Beta Memoirs. And yes, I am recording this a minute right before close. Uh, today was just a filthy, nasty day. Uh, I actually wasn't going to make a video because there wasn't really much to talk about aside from the fact that tomorrow was going to be a huge day. Uh, tomorrow we got core CPI. Uh, the fact that uh, the, the White House uh, press brief today uh, we were essentially uh, given, uh, they were essentially greasing the skids for what is going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> so needless to say, uh, this could uh, be extremely bad when it comes to inflation. Um, in my mind, the fact that they came out and already started addressing concerns before the data even came out, uh, they're not including oil on top of this. Uh, so being said, I can see next week going into Powell, what is going to happen is that we are going to get rate raises, rate raises essentially right on the spot almost next week is what's going to happen. And being said, I think uh, in the short term, the market is very aware of the inflation. Uh, the market liked the fact that uh, Powell uh, was hawkish about the way he did everything. Uh, so that's why the market is still up now. Um, given the data tomorrow, I think can be concerning for some. I think the market could possibly drop because of that, uh, or it could possibly go up. But it really just depends on what Powell is going to state, because if the inflation is really bad, um, you know, a lot of the American people will still have, they're, they're still dealing with trying to recover from the pandemic. And so the biggest, I think the biggest scenario that can pan out and really hurt and really take down the market the most next week will be if uh, Powell comes in and essentially says that um, he becomes dovish and he doesn't, he still pushes off rate raises, even though after what he just last said that uh, he said that needs to, something needed to be corrected. Um, again, we're going to find out time frame and all that stuff next week and when this is supposed to happen again i'm thinking it might drop sooner than later and i think that could actually be more bullish than anything else uh for the most part on the market the market i think will like that i think the market uh is is possibly ready for that uh, we have to have to see how the market takes it um what your opinion is what my opinion is doesn't matter it's what the market matters it was what matters to the market and you'll see that uh there's been a lot of numbers that have come out that don't make any sense and the market's going to react. So you have to let the market digest the information and see where the market takes it. Uh, so myself, I'm all cash. I'm waiting to see what happens in tomorrow's report and then play continuation of that. Uh, we may get uh, some dramatic moves uh, from the beginning. Again, this data is going to come out uh, before uh, market open tomorrow so we're going to get that at 8 30 eastern standard time uh, so that is core inflation plus year over year uh, so maybe that is why we're getting uh, essentially the greasy skid because of that uh, because of the fact that it's something um, because of the year over year uh, they're trying to essentially say why it is the way it is uh, and it's not such a, a sticker shock coming into tomorrow but anyway um so that's what I got for that. I think ultimately, though, for Bitcoin, it could be really good. Um, last time I got a lot of inflation stuff, it really didn't. It helped Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin's really been uh, holding support the 200. We don't want it below this 200 support. I think if we break that, um, we could do some more selling. I don't really see like, Bitcoin falling below uh, 40K. I think there's too much uh, mass adoption at this point for Bitcoin to drop that low. Um, again, anything can happen in any kind of market. Anything can happen. Anything is possible. Everything can go back to zero. So it's good to know that. But um, ultimately, as long as it holds here, the 46K, I think um, Bitcoin is good. And with new inflation, if the inflation really starts getting out of hand, people will run into either gold or Bitcoin. Uh, that might be what ignites uh, Bitcoin uh, going uh, into the weekend is, is what the report says tomorrow. So there'll be something to really watch. Uh, we want to see how tomorrow, how um, big tech does. Uh, does it normalize big tech or how does that play out? So I think that's the biggest thing I want to watch tomorrow and, and see where value is, where banks, if 
uh, core inflation is really high. You're going to see some big moves in the banks, uh, but uh, and possibly even value. Uh, again, you might see a lot of money uh, getting pulled out of uh, tech. If that does happen, uh, that could actually set us up good for uh, the rally, the Xmas rally everybody's been essentially been waiting for. Uh, but what you have to be mindful of, um, the index will continue to push up because a lot of the heavier weighted stuff is in, uh, there's some, a lot of value and banks will hold the index up. So being said, um, we definitely have to see how that plays out. And so we want to see how Apple does. If Apple gives way, uh, since Apple's been the strongest uh, tech for the past couple of days, uh, Facebook's actually been um, pulling out ahead as well. Uh, these all look like they're going to turn over. This whole thing looked like it's been ready to turn over for a while. Uh, the past couple of days, as some of these big techs look like they're getting ready to turn over, but the SPX in itself looks like it wants, it wants to roll over really bad. Uh, but it's it's having a hard time to do that. So we have to see uh, what happens. And I mean, even if you look back at the chart, I don't see this happening. Sorry, I'm flipping back and forth, but... Um, I don't really see this happening, but we could still drop even lower than that. We can still get down into the uh, 44 mark, 44 K mark, um, or 4,400 mark, sorry. And then uh, I think at that point we could still, we're still very bullish and we want to retest some of these levels. We did be testing get a nice bounce. Uh, maybe that's what we're looking for coming back down. Uh, we need to at least get back down on the 46, uh, 35 mark. Uh, for retest in that 20, I think at a point we can continue on with, um, essentially the Christmas rally, uh, but uh, we have to see, we definitely have to see um, not only tomorrow, I think uh, tomorrow will kind of give us uh, a prelim on what to expect. And then we'll probably get Fed members over the weekend. And then uh, again, the meeting next week will give us a time frame. Um, so again, tomorrow, just mainly watch uh, FANG. Uh, even your Amazons and your shops are, are going to get hit really bad, uh, possibly tomorrow. Uh, so look for the 200 supports essentially for that. So I'm looking at the uh, 3340 uh, for Amazon shop, looking around that uh, that 1400 mark, as long as it could stay there. And uh, that's pretty much it. I, I'm not making this video too long because um, it really just depends what happens tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be the biggest gauge and going to lead into one of the probably biggest uh, Fed meetings um, could be in, in possibly history. This could be a big turning point as far as a lot of different things. I will definitely go down as one of the, one of the biggest events down in history when it comes to the Fed. So we shall have to see. But if you've made it this far, uh, remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.